Welcome to Sydney Place, where tenants, owners, and community agencies are working hard to build an inclusive, engaged community. They call it a good neighbor community. So what is a good neighbor community? And who is a good neighbor? We invited affordable housing developer Greg Bichard from Elmira to provide the answers to those questions. Greg has created a program called Good Friends and Neighbors that helps create a sense of community in his own buildings. You want to learn about good neighbors? Well, all you have to do is observe Marlene. She is a good neighbor. It's, it's not a job description. I think it's something that's innate in the individual and what they want to give and what they want out of life. What we learned and what we discovered was from listening and watching was that there are all kinds of people who need housing and who want more in their life from their housing. They want to be part of a community. They want to not be lonely themselves. They want to not be unsafe themselves and they want to give back. They, they want to have a purpose in their life. We um, participate in a lot of the events that happen at the building. The trash bash was a, a success, even though it rained all day. <laughs> and um, the pizza afterwards, the hockey nights, I think were a success. I think people are improving as far as the isolation is concerned. They're, uh, feeling, they're not feeling isolated. And I know as an owner of other buildings, uh, people don't get involved with each other. And at 450 Sydney Street, there is a community here. People care. I think it takes time to earn that trust before people start caring about each other. But I think we're at that point right now where people are caring about each other. They're genuinely involved in each other's uh, lives and good and goodwill. And um, they're, you know, doing a great job at it. I have a daughter that lives here at Sydney Place and I love this community and am involved with it. In uh, collaboration with uh, Community Living Balbolin area, the Family Action Committee has uh, had an apartment dedicated to transition to a home of our own, which is a unit that helps expose our sons and daughters in a safe place uh, abating our parental fears to learning independence and growing and it's an accessible unit which we're very happy about. Thinking about the benefits to the tenant, um, it is an immaculate smoke-free building uh, with those with allergies. Um, my daughter refers to it as uh, my house, my home, <laughs> not an apartment. I appreciate everybody is so welcoming and friendly when you come through the door. Tenants know each other's names. They kind of know their family members' names. They're very welcoming. In particular to those of us uh, with sons and daughters with developmental disabilities, I heard one of the tenants remark um, how he appreciated being greeted by our daughters, how much that meant to him, and it meant a lot to us, seeing how precious they are uh, to other people. Another part of, of the Sydney Place is that they have the people that are being, that are living there, being part of keeping up the place, and they've actually giving them a little bit of incentive financially to, to do that. And it, it's helped them to learn some of those skills that they may not have developed before. It's made them more confident in who they are and that they can actually be part of a community and be part of a group of people and I think it gives them a sense of pride in what they do and, and what their building looks like. So the benefit of this partnership has been um, the investment in not only creating housing but creating homes. Individuals have proven that they're ready to live on their own. Um, they've got the skills to do so, but they still need a little bit of support. They need that friendly face, um, someone that they can go to if, if they're having some difficulty. A network of peers that, that may also have some similar struggles, um, that understand what it's like to have some difficulties, and that we're building a community where people, people care about each other. Part of the goals of partnership are to uh, reduce social isolation and to foster community. And I'd like to take credit for all of it, but it's really been the people in the building are building and growing exactly what they want. They want to have friends in the building, they want to have community, and so although I've tried to give people opportunities to have that happen, arranging tenant meetings, arranging movie nights, people in the building are, are making it exactly what they want. People know the doors they can knock on if they have a, a difficult moment. They 
know the people they can turn to if they need some extra help on a weekend or the evenings if I'm not here. They are comfortable going to each other and saying, hey, I'm having a tough moment, can you help me out with this? And people recognize that they can help as much as they like. Some people sometimes say no if they're themselves dealing with something and that's completely fine because people know who else they could go to in the building. It's grown to be a supportive, safe and happy community and building and that's exactly what the Good Neighbor program should be. Every tenant has a good neighbor in them, that's for sure.